Lenier, first of all, uh, tell us about that long 35-minute thing. <laughs> Did your opponent surprise you? Did you know anything about the position? What were you thinking during that long thing? Yeah, it's uh, typical for me. I always uh, uh, take this long thing at some point. And, uh, uh, but okay, the position was very solid for black, but many options, probably all leading to more or less the same type of position. Uh, uh, I, I was... I was not sure about the move DC5 because it looks like the knight comes with tempo to C5 and uh, it looks a bit uh, bit weird for black, but not really. I think the position is good and I was afraid of some CD6 and bishop A6 stuff. I was thinking something like queen E7 instead of DC was also possible. Did you but consider then, D5 at this Yeah, point? I thought the D5 as well, but then, uh, yeah, it's probably also playable. I mean, it's a different type of position, but I wanted to... Yeah, be more solid. Yeah, this and takes king h8 works for black, right? Yes. yes. Yeah, I mean, it's probably around equal anyway. Uh, Sorry I said, to interrupt. Irina has won her to draw. match with a draw. To draw. And she will advance with this draw handshake. Perfect. Go ahead, uh, Linear. Yeah, no, as I was saying, it's just a very solid position in general. And uh, I think what I played is good enough uh, just to to keep the, the normal position. And uh, yeah, at some point, I uh, after this uh, knight b3, a5, it was a pawn sack because he could take on c6. But I, I felt that uh, black hat has too many, uh, has too much activity here. Like queen takes c6, a4, uh, and maybe knight d2, but it looks I mean, risky for white because all the pieces now on the D file. Uh, I can play rook fd8. So yeah, queen c5 was uh, was logical, but uh, yes, queen d8. Yeah, I mean, okay. Here, uh, I think if black just stays with rook db8 and something like rook a7 or rook b6, it's very very close to just uh, <laughs> just uh, the draw. So. Lanier, if you don't uh, mind me asking, because it's like one of those uh, confusing moments in chess where here you are, you're thinking for 30 minutes, and I'm thinking to myself, well, Lanier's got a lot of choices. He can go rook b8. He can go rook e8. He could play h6. Yeah. h6 is useful. You could even play bishop g6. You can play queen e7. So really, I can understand that you have a lot of And the most critical, d5. And then... I must say, you, play, you played the one move, which was number 10. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was also like D, number D 10. D takes C5 and you, you help your opponent bring his piece into play. Yeah, How did you know, finally uh, say to, to yourself... Hard to explain somehow yeah. when you have uh, such a big choice. Uh, sometimes strange things happen. Uh, I, uh, as I said, I was... Um, Going to play something like h6, I like the move. I felt that it's always useful, and it's, I didn't want to play queen e7, just allowing cd6 with this little tempo. Right. And then I went, I, and then I saw that maybe he wants to take on d6 and play bishop a6 when he will take on c6 and um, probably give the pawn on e4 and reach some kind of endgame. I wasn't sure. I didn't want to allow this. I thought maybe this is his preparation, but maybe not. And finally, I decided to to, to keep the queens. That's why I took on c5. But uh, yeah, that's. Uh, Hard to say. So eventually, uh, 10 minutes go by, you come closer, closer to making this decision to take on the C5, and only after 30 minutes do you <laughs> finally unleash. Uh, uh, because it really was one of the last moves on my radar. I just was curious how you came finally to making this awkward move. I put yeah. it like that. No, yeah. I mean, as I said, the main intention was just to avoid some kind of uh, end game and just to uh, keep the queen side. I felt that this position, with, uh, with the knight, even with the knight on c5, my pawns are weak, but his pawns are also very weak, and I felt that black has enough play there to, to keep the balance. Uh, last question from my side, Sam. Uh, Shanklin came on, considered yourself uh, to be a favorite in the match. How do you see uh, the match between yourself as you go into this playoffs? Who's the favorite in your mind? I mean, it's hard to say. I, I feel that everything can happen, obviously. Uh, I honestly I don't find useful I mean f uh, to think if I'm the favorite or not I know that I have uh, uh, good chances and that's that's quite enough for me so exactly <laughs> I'll go with that fair enough, fair enough.
Now, hey. Lanier, one of the most difficult things in chess, at least uh, for uh, me, is when my opponent plays quickly and he builds up his time advantage and I start doubting myself. How do you deal with that? How did you deal with that in this game? Yeah, it's uh, of course always a little bit unpleasant when your opponent is playing super fast and you know that uh, uh, he's well prepared. And um, But of course the main thing, I mean, first of all, I'm quite used to this situation already, so it's not like new for me. So in that sense, I'm not that much concerned. And also, I mean, I, uh, it, first and foremost, it's about the position, right? So if you have a position that you feel that uh, that it's good, then uh, then you're you're okay. I'm not really too much worried, but uh, of course, I would prefer when when my opponent is out of book and uh, it's also taking uh, time. Linear, thank you for joining us, and we'll see you in a few. Uh, Linear, sorry, uh, uh, you, you, you're getting ready to go, and da, 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 da. but I just want to turn your attention to the game between Ray Robson, if you don't mind, for just a moment, because uh, obviously you're a super experienced grandmaster. You've sacrificed pieces for pawns in your life. Did you ever get six <laughs> pawns for a piece? It's just somehow. <laughs> <laughs> it's too, too much, no? I mean, <laughs> six? One too many. <laughs> yeah. too many. What's the most you ever gotten? Uh, maybe four? Yeah, maybe four. four. <laughs> That's <laughs> quite a lot, yeah, right? Yeah, four feels like, like, like too much already. <laughs> six. Just wanted to know. Just yeah, wanted so to know. I guess it's hard to, to, to survive here for black. Exactly. I would assume. Yeah. All right, thank you. Good luck. Uh, Thanks. Thank you for joining us. Uh, very nice. And of course, he will be back.